any of these kind of supply chain issues. The story is more complicated than that. And Heather dug into it. Right. Uh, toilet paper shortages, right. Heather. It's, uh, it's a, a, a fascinating little study here. It is. You and I are super nerdy, so we really like this I love supply the, chain stuff. I love stuff. the supply chain <laughs> stuff. I know. I'm trying to inspire my kids. I'm like, you know, you could study supply chain management could. in college. Could. They're like, uh huh. Okay. And there are people, there are professors that actually teach whole courses on supply chains and companies that that's the main job that they do. So, All right, so let's talk toilet paper. We know sales have been up, obviously, because right, we've right. seen people kind of buying it all up. Yeah, and I think there was a lot of people that just said, look, this is all psychological, that people are buying it because, hey, if I don't need it now, I'm going to use it yeah. later. So there's no remorse there. Sure. Or maybe they saw that everybody else was doing <laughs> yeah. it. So they just said, OK, I'm going to get an extra package this. here today. Yeah. Uh, but it's but individually it's that. that individually that doesn't make a difference in the aggregate it adds up but that's Absolutely. not that's not the that's not the no. whole story here. it's not so one of the people that I talked with yesterday one of the experts on this said the biggest supply of toilet paper right now everyone's asking where it is it's in our hall closets because all the toilet paper has now gone to us in our storage. Yeah. And the reason is the supply chain for toilet paper is very efficient. Toilet paper is bulky. It's not very profitable. So these sure. companies don't want a lot of it just sitting around the warehouse. Got it. It's almost on demand where mm -hmm. when the stores need more, right. more arrives. Like, mm -hmm. And stores don't want it sitting around the back either because mm -hmm. it's so big. Right. Exactly. So, okay, so that makes sense as to why the store shelves were emptied quickly. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of us look and say, like, how hard is it to make more toilet paper? Right. Like, let's go. Exactly. And already those mills were pumping out 24-7 there because of the, what I just talked about, ah. is that it's not very profitable. But the other thing that's happening here, as you can imagine, demand for toilet paper is pretty constant. Sure. It doesn't really nope. change, right? Nope. I mean, nope. think about it. My business is very consistent. Right. Whether you're at work, whether sure. you're at home, yep. it's just now where we're using the toilet paper uh, is very different. We're using 40% more toilet paper at home. And it's different stuff. Right. And so you can't just say, okay, well then fine, just reroute all the work stuff to the home. Right. It, it doesn't work like that. The home stuff, and we most of us yeah, we uh, know. know this, the home stuff is the good stuff. Sure. That's the softer, it's the two-ply, it's the three-ply. Yeah, because um, I buy it not like Barb in accounting. Right. You know? Barb in I'm... accounting buys the recycled fiber <laughs> right. toilet paper. <laughs> yes. It's not a roll that's like as big <laughs> as your head. Right. That would not fit in your house. Right. And they couldn't package it into true. your house and then That's think true. of all the ways you know the trucks already know where they're where they're supposed to go they go to the distributor then they go to the warehouse all this stuff would have to change so really what's happening now you're going to start seeing more on the shelves because they have been able to pump up some of that manufacturing just a little bit but what's happened is the stores have rationed and now people have enough yeah. in the hall closet it's good thank right. goodness thank, thank goodness, goodness.